Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church. Bring you a devotional today out of the book of Acts. In Acts 16, verse 5, and it says, And so were the churches established in faith and increased in numbers daily. The church in Acts was known as a growing church. It says they increased in numbers daily and they were established in faith. And for many of us today, being in the church, we don't often see the church growing daily. Now, we might see the church growth here and there, but it's been a long time since the church as a whole has grown daily. And so what, what's the difference between our church now and, and the church of today as opposed to the church of the Bible? Well, a few things come to mind. First, they were devoted to God. He was their number one priority. Church was not just attended when there was nothing else to do on Sunday. It was the priority and everything around the week centered around church. Nothing kept people out of the church. Those of faith, they met every week. Second, they were committed and devoted to outreach. Everything they did, they went to church on Sunday, then everything they did throughout the week, they went out into the streets, they preached the good word, they healed the sick, they helped the poor, they were committed to outreach. And they prayed, and they they left the Holy Spirit and let Him work. You know, so often we we don't give the Holy Spirit the time He needs to work, or we don't give Him the the power that He needs to work. And you know, it might be weird. You say, "Well, we have to give the Holy Spirit power. We have to give Him the power and the control over our lives." We have to be a spirit-filled believers in order to have a spirit-filled church. If we ourselves are not filled with the spirit, if we ourselves are not in tune to the spirit, then how can we expect our church to be in tune to the spirit? And how can we expect the church to grow? But understand something. We cannot just read verses like this and say, well, that was the church of the Bible. That doesn't matter anymore. Because... That church of the Bible can be the same church still today. God has not gotten any less powerful. It's, it's us who've changed. God's not gone further from us. It's, it's oftentimes we have gone further from God. We don't make church a priority anymore. We don't make outreach a priority anymore. We don't let the Spirit control our lives because we want to. And so my message for you today is to get back in tune with God. Make church a priority. Be dedicated to outreach and let the Holy Spirit control your life. And I promise you, if you start that, I promise you there will be a fire that is ignited in you. And it becomes very contagious. Other believers want that. And I promise you a church that is committed to meeting together, committed to outreach, and spirit-filled will be a growing church. Amen.